Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing some beauty or spa DIYs that are autumn and fall themed. So I'm continuing my fall series by doing a few DIYs today and I'm just gonna jump right into the video. A facial steam is usually done after you cleanse your skin, and it's a great way to prep, open up your pores, and prepare for any masks or treatments that you might be doing. So today I'm actually doing an autumn herbal steam. Basically you're just inhaling the beautiful herbs. I'm starting with whole cloves, whole cardamom. I have some fresh rosemary that I picked from the garden, and then you can either use apple peel or orange peel. This combination is also really nice for simmering on the stove during the fall and winter months. It's just gonna make your entire house smell amazing. But for now, I have it in a bowl. I already have some water that has been heated up. It's ready to go. You want boiling hot water. And then before you do a facial treatment, it's a good way to get your at-home facial started, especially your fall and autumn or winter themed facial treatment or spa day, and put your face just above the hot water. Now if it's burning the inside of your nose, you're too close, you want to pull back a little bit, you can also put a towel over your head and you can do this right before you do a mask or a scrub or any type of treatment. As the seasons transition, my skin gets really dry. Uh, fall in Southern California means a lot of wind and really dry skin, so I'm going to be making a gentle and calming facial scrub and it can double as a mask as well. Using my mortar and pestle, I'm going to take some oatmeal and just make it really fine. Obviously, I just kind of, I'm gonna be using this as a scrub. You can also use this as a body scrub if you want, but you wanna to try to get it as fine as possible. And I'm adding applesauce and honey, mixing these together, and then you can use it as a very gentle scrub in the fall and winter months on your skin or on your body. And it smells really nice. It's like, you know, very apple cider smelling. And um, also, you can leave it on your skin to soften and moisturize your skin. So it's a really good double use treatment. During this time of the year, I also whip out my oils and use oils a lot more. I actually use an age-defying oil treatment right now, and um, I'm gonna teach you how to make one if you don't wanna have to go and buy one. This contains pumpkin seed oil, which is really anti-inflammatory, high in antioxidants. It contains vitamin A, which stimulates cell turnover. Then I'm adding some carrot seed oil and jojoba oil. I like to collect various oils for the DIY treatments that I make for myself and also share on my channel. And then I'm adding one drop of lavender, geranium, and frankincense essential oil. These are also have many benefits for the skin um, everywhere from being soothing to healing to anti-aging so I'm just gonna make enough of a treatment for the next few days I like to make smaller batches and um, you can apply this on your skin after you do a mask or a cleanse in this case I'll usually cleanse I'll do a facial steam and then I'll do a scrub or a mask and then I'll put my treatment on and that's a stereotypical kind of like at-home facial so I'm gonna apply the oil which can also go on your body and then next I'm gonna make some autumn atmosphere mist. This is really great to spray in your bathroom or wherever you want to have your little at-home spa treatment. So for me, that would be in the bathroom. So I have some water and witch hazel in this bottle, and then I'm adding three different essential oils. I add between six to 12 drops, depending on the size of the bottle itself. I have some cinnamon leaf essential oil. I have a sweet orange and then frankincense. And I'm going to give it a nice shake and you can spray this really in any area that you'd love to experience the, um, the scent. I love to do it in the shower or in the bathroom, wherever I'm gonna be having my spa treatment, but you can also use it as a linen spray. Uh, you could spray it throughout the house or any room that you want to have that scent. Thank you. 
I've made some DIY candles on my channel before and I have more in-depth tutorials on how to do it, but I'm making a mason jar pumpkin pie latte candle. I'm starting by putting the mason jar in the oven and I set the oven to the lowest possible temperature. So it's gonna slowly heat up the jar so that when I pour the hot wax in there, it doesn't crack or bust. I have my soy wax flakes that are um, unscented. I have a makeshift double boiler here. So I'm pouring about two and a half times because once it's melted down, of course, it's going to be less than what it looks volume wise. So I have two and a half mason jars that I went ahead and put in there. And you're gonna melt that until it gets to the temperature of 185 degrees. So I'm gonna make sure to keep checking and once it hits 185, I pull it off. I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit. Obviously, you don't want to start to see it completely start to harden but you wanna let it cool down a little bit before you add the essential oils. Now, this is optional. I'm adding some herbs and mine as well. They're not as strong as adding a scent, but if you don't want to add artificial scent to your candles, I've seen a lot of recipes use pumpkin pie spice and nutmeg, although I didn't personally notice that the throw was particularly excellent with um, real herbs. So I used essential oils. I have clove, I have sweet orange, I have cinnamon leaf, and I also have vanilla. I'm adding all of these to the cool down wax. So I'd say again, between six to eight drops of each of them, you can kind of smell and make sure the combination is to your liking. So at that point, you wanna pull the mason jar out of the oven. You have a nice warm mason jar. I'm putting the wick in the center of the mason jar. And then at that point, it's time to start pouring the wax into the mason jar. You wanna go as quickly as possible. I had a little tiny bit of a spillage situation, but I made sure to clean it up ASAP. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna pour as quickly as possible. And then you're gonna to want to let that sit for up to a week to ensure that you get a really good throw, which basically means you can get really nice smell from your candle and with candles it's a really it's kind of an experimental process because sometimes you'll have ones that are really great and sometimes they won't turn out that great or they won't have a really strong throw so you can experiment and have fun with it now if you don't want to make diys we sell some really wonderful fall and autumn candles in my shop pacific time we also have scrubs and we have facial steams and all sorts of goodness for those of you who just aren't interested in making them yourself um, but this turned out really really pretty and i went ahead and put it in my bathroom and it really does look like a pumpkin latte to me so that completes all of the diys that i wanted to make for this video I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm not done with fall videos yet, so keep your eyes peeled for more coming soon. Thanks so much for watching my channel, and I'll see you guys very soon in the next video. Bye.